Hey guys, what is going on? Sorry, I hope it didn't bother you. I had a friend of mine that uh, sometimes I uh, play Division with or in some other games over the weekends. Um, I can't, yeah, you know, I don't really put him on the streams because he's got a lot of background noise when he's on chat, so it would really annoy other people on the channel. So I don't, um, I won't stream that part of it when I'm playing with him. But man, and seven, good to see you tonight, buddy. Hope you're doing well. So I thrown out a couple of sounds in there while I was playing that. Very appropriate when it was happening. <laughs> I uh, saw that you uh, you noticed I had that nuke it from orbit sound. I found that uh, last night and trimmed it and put it online in my little sound alert. I really like that. Gorbosh, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing? It's funny that the game, I left the game paused last night after I stopped playing it. And it still got that sad music because it was right after Vermeer. <laughs> Yeah, Gorbats, I don't know if you I saw the... I uh, take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Fucking A. Yeah, fucking A, man. I love that movie. That is one of my all-time favorite movies. Aliens, so good. And Bill Paxton, that movie is so good. Man, rest in peace, dude. <laughs> All right, so we're probably not going to be able to play for a long time tonight, but I think I got enough time to uh, get Liara. And let me uh, change my uh, stream title. Hold on a second. Got the title changed a little bit more and uh, changed the game so it's a little bit more appropriate. All right, so let's do this. Let's go get Liara. And uh, Gorbos, I think you're going to like this too because uh, when you wait till to get Liara till last, it's it can be, it can be pretty interesting. Yes, wise words from Ripley indeed. That was very appropriate last night uh, given the mission that we were at. Such sad music. Such sad music. Let's go get Liara. And we talked to everybody last night before I got off. Uh, which one's she in? I think it is. Yeah, Gnosis. Gnosis. Uh, Brotherhood, you met up with uh, Leonardo. I like Leonardo in the Assassin's Creed series. It is so cool. It is so good. He's a good character. But like I was telling you uh, before, I would suggest not doing the Da Vinci DLC until after you've played the main game. It makes more sense if you do. Oh, hello there. Survey says more XP. I thought I already surveyed everything in the solar system. Maybe I didn't. Just there. I'm not ready for that yet. Oh, there it is. Dian recovered, even though I've got all the ones for the quest. Uh, there, let's go. My pickings for this are pretty slim. <laughs> all I've got is Garrus, Tally, and Ashley. Because <laughs> I killed Rex. <laughs> and I don't know, Gorbachev, you saw it, but oh, that... Killing Rex was so brutal last night. It really was. Not just the fact of just the emotionally, 
the emotional aspect of killing him, but the way I killed him. I mean, because I thought, you know, if I made this choice, my character's going to be the one that kills him. I'm not going to have Ashley do it. And I could have signaled Ashley and just let her do it. But I did it myself, and holy fuck. And then I had to do it a second time because I was worried that I didn't get my, uh, my uh, optional objectives to, uh, to save Kirahi. So I did it again. <laughs> and it wasn't any better. Because the first, the only other time, the only other time I've ever killed Rex, um, I think it was my very first playthrough, and I didn't really understand. Whoa. Hey, man. I appreciate the cheer for doing it twice. I did it twice. Bow chicka bow. Um, <laughs> and I don't know if you caught the score watch on the video, but afterwards, just for fun, I just kept shooting his body. <laughs> but damn. <laughs> But anyway, the first, you know, the very first time I played Mass Effect 1, when I, I didn't understand how to play the game, and I was just playing Soldier. Um, I had killed Rex then, too, but I, I was, wasn't was trying to. So I was trying to avoid killing him, and then Ashley killed him. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, so this time, I did it myself, and that was way harder. All right. Garrus and Tally, I haven't decided if I'm going to let these two romance each other yet. That's right. I didn't want him to suffer. I mean, he could have been hurt and he might not have been dead. I had to finish him off. You know, Krogan's got all these redundant organs and nervous systems and everything. I had to make sure he was dead. You know, it's just not right to uh, let him suffer like that. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Gotta have, make sure I have my performance metrics up so I can make sure I'm not dropping too many frames or anything like that. As, as kind of chaotic as driving the Mako is, it is surprisingly easy to drive into the lava on this level. Good job, guys. Make sure we get a save in here. Let's see if I get this. If I get this done tonight, getting Liara, I should be able to finish the game tomorrow or Sunday night. Yeah, most of the time, I will actually do this first when I play this game. Like, as soon as I'm a Spectre and leave the Citadel, this is what I'm doing first. Trying to knock down the front door seems stupid. Maybe we can find the side window? Side window? <laughs> Man, 
those frictionless materials, I just ain't heating that gun up at all. Don't those, yeah, there. Whoa! Let's not eat a rocket today. Garrus, seriously? Why is your health so low, Garrus? Damn it. I thought I need to get more health off of him. Oh well. Yeah, there. Ha ha ha. Whoa. Tally, sweetheart. Let's talk about this. Mako's hurting. Nice, nice. Well done, well done. Is there anything in here? Upgrade kit, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you for getting up, Tally. All right, save. Move my mouse all the way. I will be really upset if that one um, turret ends up being the reason why I don't make it to level 60 on this playthrough. Well, hello there. How are you? You're not going to be your rocket for a while. Or ever. Ooh, I might give that to Liara. Mercenary X armor. Nice. And I still haven't managed to get any good armor for Tally. That is really irritating. Poor girl's working so hard, but she's got shitty armor. I thought there was a crate somewhere around here in the back. Yep, there is. Ooh, hello, we got some Turian armor. Hey, there's Quarian armor tally. Let's see if it's any good. Alright. Let's see here. Garrus. Oh, it's not better. I'm sorry, Garrus. For Tally? Yes. Finally, something sorta okay. There you go, Tally. I tried at least. Oh, there's another one. here and 
Yep. Running out of space. Garrus, are you okay? Are you stuck? Okay, good. I guess I should probably repair the Mako. Now I'll go ahead and save and load to save time. thousand XP every single time. Oh, get two more over there. I see them. Cyber thing. Ow. Oh shit. Come on. Give me something. I got him. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm done. But I'm not. What level am I? I'm 55, maybe? Yeah, 55. So it's going to be close to whether I'm going to get to 60 or not. I don't think I will. 
I think I'll, it'll end up capping me. It'll, it'll end up by the end of the game. I probably hit like 58 or 59. All right, save and load again to save time. Take him out. Take who out, Tally? We're good. Troopers. Yeah, you had no chance. Another tunnel. This game loves tunnels. It's probably hiding some type of loading mechanic. God, I am so OP right now. Mowing through these guys. Excuse me, gentlemen. Yep, everybody did. Save. Now there is a way, and I don't know what it is, that you can kind of, you can get the Mako back through there. I have never been able to make it to work. Never once be able to make it to work get to get back there. So I'm not even gonna try. It's not like I really need the extra armor or anything. Definitely digging the music. Whoa, cyber. Garris, you were supposed to be using your sniper rifle. You are a sniper, Garris. Use it. Keep wanting to reload. Oh, there was one right here just a second ago. I guess he killed it. All right, let me save.
Hate those dudes. Alright, as soon as cutscene's over, I need to book it to my left. And go, 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 go. Come on, guys. Get back over here. Come on. Let them come to us. We are fine. Oh, hello there. Yeah, come on, pet. You guys are bouncing too much. That dude just bounced everywhere. Not no more. Oh, another one. Here we go. Ah, there's a sniper. All right. Bye bye, sniper. Alright, now, can we dampen it or keep it from even threatening a little bit? Yep. And just for fun, we'll lift you up. And he's dead. Good job, guys. Alright, let's go find my dear Liara. Save. Okay. I am still on veteran difficulty, right? Okay. Yeah, I am. Just making sure. Go anywhere. That's it. Bag of attack. It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. An installation would have to be there for a really long time for a cavern to build to form up around it that's pretty insane okay we should have some drones coming here in a second yep they're there hey guys what's up you don't want to use your guns or anything do you Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Hey, where's your crazy you, talk? Oh, there it is. Are you real? Oh, no. Don't be stupid, Liara. <laughs> Humans do not come here. You're hallucinating. And talking to yourself. <laughs> oh, goddess. She didn't starve. I die here. <laughs> Get a crib, doctor. <laughs> We're here to save your sorry ass. Oh, damn. So snap out of it. You're rude for hallucination. My subconscious must want to punish me for being this stupid. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you think. I'm getting you out of there. You almost had me convinced there. I would not expect a hallucination to be defiant. Well, I'll play along. As you can see, I am trapped here. If you're as real as you claim, find a way to get me out. How'd you end up in there? 
Ah, yes, the figment of my imagination wants me to retrace my steps. <laughs> see if I can figure out where I went wrong. I was exploring the ruins. When the Geth showed up, I ran in here and activated the defenses. The barrier curtains could protect me. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. You brought this on yourself. You shouldn't have been messing with technology you don't understand. I know how it works. I've studied it. Oh, calm down, Mira. You're yelling at a figment of your imagination. Listen, if you're real, find some way past the barrier curtain. Find some way to deal with the Geth. Then use the control panel to release me. If you're not real, leave me alone. I'm tired of talking to myself. <laughs> You know, the, the people that decided to write, you know, that, that dialogue in there should have just gotten a raise. Because that was just amazing. It was great. I mean, just really, thought, whoever thought, hey, let's acknowledge that they waited till the last possible minute to pick up Liara. When really the game is designed, or maybe designed not the right word, the game is is structured to where they want you to get Liara first. I mean, it's really how they shields. go. Oh, shit. Shield back. Thank you. That's what I get for talking and not paying attention. You cannot use your sniper rifle anymore. You are grounded. Inventory space. Oh, just barely made that one. Now there is an infinite XP glitch that you could use right here. And I don't even know if it still works, but I'll just I'll just see if it still works just for fun. But I think it's similar to the um, the Paracon glitch with the with the monkeys, the space monkeys, or the Pijacks. I'm only gonna try it like once, see if it works. I really don't know. Okay. gonna come up nope they didn't even do it so never mind that's all right all right Liara your figments of imagination are back Now I am hallucinating that you are inside the tower. <laughs> I must be getting worse. Earlier I even imagined I heard thunder. We used the mining laser to bore through. You bored through? <gasps> you're real, aren't you? By the goddess, you're real! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were a hallucination. I thought I was going mad. Please get me out of here before more geth show up. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... Time to go. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. 
We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Let's get the hell out of here. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. I didn't realize we'd gone that far down. Now this Krogan warlord or battle mess right here is one tough son of a bitch. He's the one I gotta really worry about. <laughs> Kill this bastard. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! I like your attitude. Alright. Let's lift you up. And let's make your weapon stop working. It's a sniper. Let's make your weapon stop working. This will help. Dampen him, please, Liara. How did he? Ow! Ow! How did he do that? Did you do that? There he goes, he's dead. Ooh, leveled up. Ooh. We are, why are you on the ground? Alright, sabotage. Back sniper, no worky worky. Stop looking and run! Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. Mm. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? <laughs> He's an ass. Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Only Damn. 106? I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to <coughs> the <Asians>. Excuse me. <clears throat> they were wiped out by the Reapers, a race of sentient machines. The yeah, we've been busy Reapers, while you were trapped in your little field there. I have never there. heard of. How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort Don't out what it all There was a beacon on Fermire. Not Fermier. to mention your little run-in with Sarah. There we go. I'd call that definitive proof. And then there's the Cypher. Yeah. I'm not sure what that other Asari did to you, but she did something. Sovereign. The Cypher. A, a Prothean beacon. I I'm sorry. This is all a bit overwhelming. I just... I need a moment to... Collect myself. Poor Liara. I have spent most of my adult life investigating the Prothean extinction. 
Decades of intense academic study and field research. And for what? I never thought it would end like this. You show up and tell me all the answers just fell into your lap. It isn't fair. <laughs> all those years wasted. This is another part that's it's basically she's reacting like this because you waited so long to get her. So you've done so much of the main mission in the story that you've basically done everything already. You already found out the answers when normally you get her early and she would help you find the answers and everything. And so this is, this is great. There's a rogue specter out there looking to destroy the galaxy. So quit whining and help me stop him or I'll drop your ass back in that volcano. I, Damn. I am sorry, commander. I don't know what came over me. You are right, of course. We have to stop Saren. That is all that really matters. You said you have visions from the beacon. Let me join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans can help clarify this vision. Make it fast. Time's a wasted. Embrace eternity. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. What the hell does that even mean, embrace eternity? I'm your Huckleberry. Like, yeah, exactly. The images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Hurry up. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it and tell me what you saw. It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! I've never heard of a world called Ilos. I'm not surprised. Ilos is in a region of space accessible only through the Mew Relay. But the Mew Relay was lost thousands of years ago. Nobody knows where it is. We do. I have the coordinates for the Mew Relay. <laughs> it's got to mess with their heads so much. But how? Uh, never mind. If you take us to the Mew Relay, I can give the vectors to take us to Ilos. The Relay's in the Terminus systems. They're not fond of Alliance ships over there. Or Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren will have his whole fleet in orbit around Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. Uh, you we're in a stealth the ship. Council. They will assemble a fleet to accompany you. Together, you can... You... Oh, I am feeling a little faint all of a sudden. You've been through a lot. Dr. Chakla should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yep. Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Oh, he's not even prompted us to call the uh, council. All right. Let's go talk to everybody we need to talk to. Save real fast while I'm thinking about it. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, yeah. for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Saving my boots from burning lava is part of your job, Joker. We don't give medals Damn. to soldiers for doing their jobs. Bad figures. Just get me a nice card and a cake. No coconut, though. I hate that crap. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Nope, that was it. Just see what I you had to, to say. Go. All right, see you. Okay, we are not romancing Liara. As cute as she is. We're not romancing her because it's so hard to break up with her because she's so cute. And I would feel incredibly bad about it. I'm already about to make her really upset by being an asshole to her. Yes, Commander? 
Is there something you need? How did Anything? you end up serving on an alliance uh, ship? I enlisted right out of mid. I want but humanity here. needs All the right. alliance if we want to. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, Liara. Let's fill you in on killing your mom. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Nah. I just want to talk. Of course. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I had to save you. You can help me stop Saren. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Oh, God. Promises are easy to make, but hard to keep. I do not begrudge you your suspicions. I just hope in time you will come to trust me. I love Liara. I love Liara so much. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful, and now she is gone. Now, oh, Sam, sorry, just for the hell of it. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her. And I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. Alright, Asari culture, why not? I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my <laughs> people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. You look like a hot we woman to me. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Oh, Shepard, don't be a bigot. So you'll have sex with anything. Now you see how rumors get started. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Who was your father? Which, that is a key question. Um, Gorbach, I don't know if you're still on the channel, but did you ever find out? Did you ever go through the dialogue where you see who... Uh, Liara's father is? And N7, I'm, I'm sure you know, but don't spoil it for Gorbach if he didn't find out on his own. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You don't know who it is? Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great Oh yeah, I love her father. It is possible Benezia's I absolutely love the father. She's great. Opinion. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. 
Why agree to the union if she didn't want any children? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. All right. And I think that's it. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Hey, more XP. All right, let's go talk to Ashley. Because there's no Caden anymore. So sad. Here he's still here. All right, better kid out Liara. All right, so she, let's look at the armor here. We got the Mercer Armory. That's probably the best armor I'm gonna be able to get for her. And I'm gonna get her shield interface. No, wait. Um, hmm. Give shield interface nine. Let's get the medical exoskeleton nine. And then let's give her a good amp. Solaris. Yeah, let's go with Polaris. Polaris, yep. And we'll go ahead and give you that. For your Omni Tool, and that's fine. Kessler 294, so let's give you that. And let's give you that for extra. Well, let's give you the 9 version. For the extra damage, let's give you another 9. And let's give you Sledgehammer Rounds. So you can some maybe sometimes knock some enemies down. Very good. All right, so she's good to go. Ashley, anything to say? Commander. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? We'll watch her. I'm not sure I believe it either. It's better to have her where we can see her. That makes sense. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. We'll talk All later, right. Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. All right, Garrus, you got anything new? I don't think you do. Commander, I wanted to thank you. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. I've already talked to you about it. All Looking right. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I'm not going to get any money from this, but I just need to clean out my inventory. Oh shit, it was buying, not selling. Crap. That's alright. Back up to 10 million already. There we 
go. Cleared up quite a bit of inventory there. Hope you kept the receipts. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a refund without the receipts. But I've got more money than I know what to do with. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's see. Combat armor. Yeah, fitness training, weapon damage. Fitness increases health. Yeah, let's bring that all the way up. Uh, that I don't really care about. Assault rifles. We can increase damage on that a little bit. There we go. Alright, good enough. Don't need to talk to Cat Tally. She hasn't got nothing new. Oh, on the elevator. Can't say when you're on the elevator. Save. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Tomlin's not going to be happy. <clears throat> Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Seren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. That's not enough. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. No, he's then the time just send for discretion, me. Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. Yeah, uh, not really. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Ah, here we go again. Distraction this, distraction Sovereign's that. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Yeah, everybody's gonna Humanities die. Make great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming <clears throat> more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Man, I want to shoot him right there. How you holding up, Skipper? This isn't over yet. You're an optimist, Shepard. 
I guess we'll have to consider this part of humanity's learning experience. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We have to. Can I count on you to be there? I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. <laughs> I've had a hell of a time figuring you out. But I think I have. I want you to be happy, too. You better. Oh, just wait. It'll be easier to break up with you. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from <laughs> Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Sounds important. You'd better go. And Joker just always interrupts at the wrong times. All right, so we haven't had Liara at all the entire game. So we'll take Laura... Laura, Liara, and Tally. Brown chicken, brown cow. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior. All right, we need to we need to level up Liara. <laughs> all right, so we are definitely going to be doing all of the throw. Get first aid up to open electronics. All of the electronics. All of the sorry scientist lift all of lift warp singularity and let's get barrier a little bit max out warp there we go and that's eh, that stasis. So we're at level 56. I'm betting that I will probably finish this game at 58. Atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Come on. So first things first, I need to finish up with, with this uh, exploration of Prothean culture. This must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. How would you know? You haven't yes, been on anything with us yet. Most of the technology I had hoped to bring back to the flotilla has subsequently attempted to kill us. So we need to go make sure that Conrad's not still over there, and we're gonna have to finish him off oh yeah we got her Commander All right. Shepard. so I'm gonna save here so in case I screw this up because well that can happen Kalisa had been seen in Algelani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Go away. <laughs> Let's see I'm she not does. in the mood, Miss Algelani. People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? All right. So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. So should I hit her? Should I deck her? Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? Overdue. We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the <coughs> council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? <laughs> they know better. I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. 
I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Okay, I'm not sure how many I can get get before I get before I get to punch her. So. The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's I think I can get fine. like two Many of them, defeatist two or three. Claim that the alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? I made that call to save myself, my crew, and the inhabitants of Novaria. And I'd do it again. It's gratifying to see someone who'll make tough choices to protect the lives of humans. Come on, let Given me punch your her. recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Okay, I think I get one more. Ever read Machiavelli? He believed it's better to be feared than loved. We build a few dozen more dreadnoughts, I guarantee we'll be respected. I hope they remember that when they pass the next defense budget. One last question. There it is. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? There we go. I've had enough of your snide insinuations. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> I'll make sure everyone that is hilarious sees every that. single goddamn time. Over. Oh, every time. Every single time. <laughs> All right, Conrad. I wanted to get I wanted to get as much out of that as I could, as much dialogue as I could before punching her. Uh, markets. That was meaty. That was. Oh, sorry, you did Conrad number three. Okay, that's fine. I thought I did. I thought the third time was a repeat of the second time. All right, we got our Armistice Day thing, so we get to be racist, Dick Shepard. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Explain yourself. Cram your honor. <laughs> What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard been by Armistice the Day. alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Every day I stand up for humanity. Often in the face of bullets. What have you done lately? You really think speeches help? Damn. We all serve in our own way, Commander. I'm not a soldier, but I can tell the public why they should support your efforts. Next, you're going to ask for a picture together with Shepard, so you can show people how close you are to the military. Wow, Tally. I, uh, I assure you, I'm only interested in the betterment of humanity, the same as you, Commander. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I do. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. This really that sounds very closely familiar to familiar to some political bigoted. party in Excuse the U.S. Me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. Damn. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. Stay out of this. Of course, Shepard. Damn. It is hard being Dick Shepard. It really is. I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. 
It is gratifying to hear that. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shan Shi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shan Shi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. All right, we'll give you the racist support. We need more politicians with the courage to stand up for human rights. Excellent. I'll have my people contact you. Don't worry. We'll take care of everything. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Farmer on Election Day, because Terra Farmer remembers you. All right. Let's get up here to Flux. Oh, yeah. I have a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. We're gonna red text this one. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember <laughs> seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines. But I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but junkie. restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. What is this stimulant exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by so me. So basically, he just wants Ridlin. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent, or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Oh, we already did that. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over back. No race will respect us All until right, we show them who's in charge. First Paragon, so we can red text out. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. There you go. Don't be an idiot. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand. <laughs> humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll, I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That sounds like an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Now, what you could do is you could go to, um, I think you can go to Dr. Michelle and get the drugs that he wants and give it to him. But I'm trying to finish this rather quickly, so I just red texted my way out of it. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. You asshole, you could help me. You had to know what was going to happen. Why didn't you warn me? I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you die. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. 
What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown orders. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. All right, so we're gonna do the we're gonna do the renegade option because well it's a renegade run it doesn't affect content in two or three and even though if he breaks into Udina's office it is much more satisfying to watch because he knocks Udina the fuck out but we're renegade shepherd here if you're lucky the patrols won't catch you I'll be careful you ready to get the hell off this station commander let's do it let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Ducks. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. Yeah, because I basically bitch slapped that one dude, Jung. Have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Let's do this. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about what this cutscene looked like. Poor Anderson, poor Space Dad. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. So what's about to happen should be Admiral Hackett talking about the interview I just had. So, it's, which is which is kind of funny because we just broke away from the Alliance. We just went rogue, completely rogue. And Hackett's going to be calling us on the radio and not saying a word about it. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. Uh-oh. The brass isn't happy with the way you treated her. <laughs> this comes straight from the Joint Military Command. Screw her. I don't have the patience to deal with tabloid gadflies who think they're great journalists. Commander, if she had done that at a bar, she'd go home in an ambulance. But they want me to make this clear. We can't mistreat the press. 
Just wanted to let you know what the response was. <laughs> I won't keep you any longer. Fifth fleet out. Uh, Dick Shepard showed her, didn't he? All right. I am going to call that for tonight. I've been streaming for about four hours. Uh, so tomorrow night, we're going to go straight to Ilos. We have got nothing left to do other than the basically the end of the game. So we're going to go straight to Ilos. Hopefully tomorrow night, um, we should be finished with the game. It might bleed over into Sunday, depending on if I uh, play Division 2 with my friend again tomorrow night. So we'll just see how that goes. But uh, thank you guys for coming out and watching. Sorry I was... You know, went for a couple hours with no video and no, uh, I mean, no webcam and no mic. But, you know, with my friend's uh, audio he has in his background, it really just wouldn't be very good. But come out tomorrow night. Thanks for coming out tonight. Talk to you later. Bye.